So this is Rose Wexler, 83, arrived from her nursing facility, confused and agitated. Miss Wexler, good morning. Bologna, are you here for the sink? You know I'm not, but it would help me out a great deal if you could tell me what year it was. Shut your damn calendar. No wonder you people never show up on time. That's completely my fault. Do you mind if I just shine my- Are you some kind of a maniac? Get the hell out of here! Thank you. Out! Lovely to meet you. What do you think? <sighs> Nursing home delirium. Acute cognitive dysfunction from some combination of dehydration, stasis, over-medication, and a lack of human engagement. Could be. She's neurologically intact, but her mucous membranes are dry. If you're right, fluids will perk her up. Mm, yeah, for now. What? I'm sorry, it's just that her records indicate she led a remarkable life, was one of the first female test pilots, trained at NASA. Even if fluids were, it's sad seeing someone like that wind up like this. So the good news is Miss Wexler's doing much better after some fluids. She's awake and alert. That is good news. Yes, though she does still have a fever and is reporting lower abdominal pain. Fluids and scans? All negative, except for a slightly elevated white count, but I'm already doing an infectious workup now. Sounds like a great plan. What's the bad news? This is Wanda Stern. And from the same nursing home, she has a 101 fever and feels Nixon is just what this country needs to run out the commies. Fluids and labs? Fluids and labs. On Wednesdays, I go downstairs to the beauty shop. And my, my neighbor Sheila always does my hair. Okay. How about the card room? I play a lot of canasta. In the south lobby? No, darling, uh, in, in the north. Oh. How are we doing, ladies? Any luck? Wanda here is lovely, and though I appreciate your theory that our conditions may arise from the same source, I'm afraid the only thing we have in common is Sinai Gardens. Huh. Miss Reese, could I, um, could I talk to you for a moment? Mm -hmm. Keep at it. Their labs are all negative, but both are febrile with leukocytosis and infections in the elderly can present quite differently than normal. I think we need to start looking for zebras. Rickettsia, uh, leptospirosis. Miss Stern has some redness in her left eye. You notice that? Probably from the chlorine in the pool. She likes to do water aerobics. But consider the symptoms, acute delirium, severe dehydration, lower abdominal pain, one itchy red eye. Like I said, in an 85-year-old, it could be anything. If these women were closer to you in age, what might you suspect? No. No, 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 no. Why not? No, because they're old ladies. They can't have gonorrhea. Are you trying to tell me that because they're old, they can no longer be sexually active? Oh, come on, they barely have the energy to play canasta. Whatever that is, I say we keep digging. Uh, um. There's a gentleman from the retirement home out there inquiring about the status of your two patients. Says his name is Clyde. Hmm. Maybe they um, have something in common after all. We're gonna need some swabs. The clap? Yikes. Have Rose and Wanda been told? How did they take it? You'd have to ask them. Mr. Glickman, partner notification is an important part of gonorrhea treatment, and while we really don't want to be intrusive... Gentlemen never tells. But if there are others, they should be informed. There's Cookie. Beautiful blue eyes. Cookie? Sylvia. Marvelous sense of humor. So you're sleeping with four different women? Miss Reese, you make it sound... Tawdry. It's not like that. At our age, there are very few men left, and people need companionship. I make them happy, they make me happy. And I love them, all of them. All of them. I think of it as assisted loving. We'll get you a shot of ceftriaxone and azithromycin. The nurse will be with you shortly. We're gonna beat him to the finish line. Here it comes, hold on tight, up we go. And thank you very much.
Thank you again for all your help. Ms. Wexler, can I ask you something? Sure. You're a strong, successful woman. You flew jets. Aren't you angry with him? I tell you, Miss Reese, some men spend their whole lives with women, but never bother to learn what pleases them. Clyde learned. Let's go, Rosebud, before this thing turns back into a pumpkin. Thank you very much. We're going flying. He seems like a nice enough guy, but no one is worth lying, cheating, or disease. Where are you getting lying and cheating? You heard what he said. Didn't hear that. This looks like more of an open relationship to me. Well, you would think by their age they'd be past that. Past wanting physical intimacy? If my boyfriend ever suggested an open relationship, I'd kill him. Hmm. Huh. You might be surprised how things you once thought were so important become less so when you get older. My life definitely become bigger, messier, far more interesting than I ever thought it could when I was younger. And you know what? It hadn't always been such a bad thing. Well, I'm not that young. I'm almost 26.